you might be thinking about buying an electric car, but maybe you're confused about charging it up. Here's everything you need to know about charging at home, charging in public, and also the proper etiquette when it comes to charging your electric car. The most accessible way to charge your electric car is using a level one charger. So that's basically any plug that you see around your house. That's limited to 110, 120 volts, maybe about 15 to 20 amps. If you have a plug-in hybrid EV, it typically takes about five to 10 hours to fully charge the car. If you have a battery electric vehicle, it's going to take a lot longer. You're looking at a couple of days to fully charge using a level one. But to really improve on the experience, you should really consider a level two charger at home. I have two plugs in my hands and this demonstrates level one and level two charging. My right hand, I have a typical household plug. This is your 110 to 120 volts. It operates 15 to 20 amps, whereas this one operates on 240 volts and up to 30 to 50 amps. So when it comes to your electric vehicle, this is going to charge a lot faster than this. If you're going on a road trip, you may not have seven or eight hours to charge the car. So there is a faster way and that's called DC fast charging or level three charging. Level three chargers can charge your car even faster because it has a higher voltage system. It ranges between 480 volts to a thousand volts and it can deliver up to 500 amps. So because of that, it's going to charge these things really fast. When you're coming up to a public charging station, there will be times where there is a line. And I like to think of it as a first come, first serve. It's just important to stay civil, mindful, and courteous to other people. So we've arrived at our public charging station and the first thing to do is to check the available charging ports. We have a 100 kilowatt DC CCS and also a 50 kilowatt DC Tesla. We're not gonna be using this one because we've got the Hyundai Ionic 5. So the first thing that you should do is just plug in. So we'll take this off, we'll open the charging port, take off this plug and then just plug in. The next step is to take a look at the screen and take care of the payment. Sometimes you'll have to pull out your charging app and take care of payment from there, or you could just handle it from here. So we have plugged in, we've taken care of the payment. Now you can see that the charging has initiated and you can see the state of charge on both the app and also on the screen. So now we're sitting inside and on the digital driver display, you can see the state of charge and it's indicating 92%. And also we're charging at a rate of 37 kilowatts. We're sitting in a 100 kilowatt charging station and we're not charging as fast because we're almost full. So you're not done. Let's unplug, close this charging port and put the charging port back to the station. Leave it nicer than when you found it. If you've got questions, sound off in the comments. Thank you for tuning in to True Car on Tech.